So 5G is here now, it's already commercial. But even more exciting, on the research side, we're looking at what comes next to 5G. So deep in our research labs, we're inventing, experimenting, really driving what are these future use cases going to take 5G forward. On the research side, it's always important to not only do paper designs, computer simulations, but really build things. So at Qualcomm, we have these advanced 5G testbed networks where we build end-to-end -end systems to really understand the performance. On the wide area sub 6 gigahertz research, we have this very impressive massive MIMO network where we're really pushing the boundaries, multi-user massive MIMO, literally driving to over 50 bits per second per hertz, huge amounts of capacity. So we've been looking at new techniques to take augmented reality and make it boundless. What are the requirements from latency, from data rate, from a communication standpoint, and how do you marry that with advanced multimedia? Our 28 gigahertz state-of-the-art research network really proves out the capabilities and robustness of 5G millimeter wave. Robust millimeter wave is one of the interesting things where you're really showcasing how can, it can make beams as fast as it's moving through the RF propagation environment. In our 5G OTA network, we even connected to a drone, one of our 5G smartphones. We flew it around our network and were amazed at how well the beam forming and beam tracking worked. By actually building our own 5G testbed network in one of our warehouses, we've really understood what are the actual requirements, things like ultra-reliable, low-latency communication, time-sensitive networking. This actually enables us to really understand for Industry 4.0, for where this connected factory of the future is going. So if we look at a 5G connected factory, precise positioning is a key enabler. So here at Qualcomm 5G Research, we're looking at sub-meter accuracy in a 3D positioning framework. One of the key things we're doing in Qualcomm 5G research is partnering with other industry leaders, making sure we're looking end to end from the entire systems perspective. We're taking 5G cellular vehicle to everything into these new advanced use cases. So it's building on what's already there in release 1415 and taking it into the release 16 sidelink. This enables very interesting applications, whether it's sensor sharing or distance-based hybrid ARQ. So advanced techniques all allowing this situational awareness to be improved in the cockpit. I'm very excited to be driving the 5G research because it's something where we can really look at what's coming next and how do we make it happen. And you're really challenging yourselves and our whole teams have really embedded this philosophy of trying to design the future.